Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in some previous videos, you probably saw how we were able to install a soft start kit on our air conditioner. And this is going to allow us to run our AC with a generator. So I'm gonna show you my setup, my generator, the soft start kit that we've got set up, and this power inlet box as well. So let's show you what we got going on, how this works and how easy it is to use. All right, so this is my air conditioner. It's a basically a Goodman two-ton system. And as you can see, we have the ICM870 soft start kit wired up on this one. We have our amp clamp hooked up to our common wire on our compressor. So we're going to show you the inrush amps when we start this unit up. And before we do that, we're going to basically simulate a power outage. Got the screws removed from this just to show you what we got here. So if you saw in a previous video, we installed this interlock kit. And the purpose of the interlock kit is in the event of an emergency, this is going to prevent you from either having your generator um, breaker on and the main breaker on at the same time. You can only run one or the other. So let's say the power just went out. It's 100 degrees outside. Power is off, so this doesn't matter. We're going to turn the main off. And the only way that we're going to be able to turn our generator breaker on is by sliding the interlock kit up and then we can turn that on. So now what we've just done is we've allowed a potential power source to go through here to that generator breaker and it will feed all of these other uh, breakers except for the main which will prevent any energy from going back out and potentially harming a lineman or causing further damage. Here's our power inlet box. If you saw in my other video, I also showed in the event of an emergency how to get these components and run your generator. If you can't go to Amazon and you can't get this set up, a lot of people disagreed with the fact that I had a suicide cord, but if you're smart, you're not gonna electrocute yourself and you know how it's designed. But I went ahead and went back through and changed this to a power inlet box. And that's our ground in the middle there. And we have our three neutral and two hots. And basically you just line up the two little, uh, little nubs there, turn it, and then you lock this in by threading it in. Now, when there is power, you will notice that this green light will be indicated if there's power coming from your generator. Hey buddy, what you doing? So this is our generator. It is a natural gas generator, a Furman. Um, I believe it's 6,500 watts, 6,900 watts uh, starting on natural gas and 5,500 running watts. Now we have our hose. This is a 3 8 flared to a quick connect. So I have my grill set up on a quick connect and to change these out, it is very easy and very fast. You just kind of like an air hose, snap it into place and we are ready to fire this baby up. So this has an electric start. So we're just gonna select natural gas or LPG there. So with natural gas, what you actually do is you put this on choke, you start it for three seconds, then you put it to run, and then you can start it up. As you can see, we have lights. Let's go over to our thermostat and see what we got. So that has powered up. We're just gonna give it a second. All right, so our thermostat is back up and running. We're set to 68, it's 68 in here. We're gonna bump it down to 66. This icon will come on. So the fan will kick on in just a second. There it goes. And now let's go out to our disconnect and plug it in and see what our amps are. All right, so since we're right here by the generator, we're gonna show you the inrush amps and we're gonna see if the generator makes any change in pitch 
when this comes on. So let's go ahead and plug our disconnect in and see what we got. So the generator made a little bit of change in noise, not, not very much at all. But as you can see, we had 6.3 amps in rush and our AC is on got hot air coming out of the top already so as you can see our generator is powering the AC we've got 52 and dropping degrees coming out of the vents so everything is working as it should in fact we actually have two air conditioners going right now our mini split in the garage is running so I'll go back there and show you that running simultaneously with our generator as you can see our Mr. Cool mini split is running. It's pulling heat out. We'll show you what's coming out of the vents inside. As you can see, we've got 52 and dropping coming out of our mini split. So we are running two air conditioners simultaneously. This has a built-in soft start. This is all a variable speed compressor, so very efficient. Um, the compressor has no problem powering both of these as well as many lights. All the lights in here and inside my house are on. So this is able to power just about anything we need. And uh, it's going to be really awesome in the event of an emergency when we're able to power those items. All right, so let's say our power is restored. All we have to do is come over here. After we've shut our generator off, we're gonna flip this back off. And as you saw that drop down by itself, turn our main on and we're back on grid power. Now, as you saw, when we powered up this AC unit, we had 6.3 amps, super minimal um, load on the generator. Now, my AC system is relatively small in comparison to a lot of homes. Say you have a four ton or a five ton system, you could be looking at over 100 amps of inrush amps without this soft start kit. And so that's when it becomes critical to have a soft start kit to be able to, to, be able to power your generator. But even so, the ability to go from 35 inrush amps to 6.5 is amazing. It puts less load on the generator and it allows it to power other items in the household other than just my AC or if I have a heat pump, my heat during the winter months. So in the event of an emergency, having a generator that is capable of running on natural gas is very important for me because here in Salt Lake City, we've had several instances where we lost electricity, but we still had gas. And so in that scenario, if there was a day or even two days that we didn't have electricity, but we did have gas, I don't have to run and fill this up with gasoline. Now, if we weren't able to get natural gas, then we would have to look to alternatives, but we have two other viable options. We can run this on gasoline and we can also run it on propane. So I love the versatility of this unit. If you're looking for a generator, this one is a fantastic option. In fact, I believe Costco has these on sale right now and they're about $700, which is a steal. Now, if you're interested in setting your AC system up with a soft start kit so you can power it in the event of a power outage with a generator, check out these two videos right here and we show you how to install the Micro Air soft start as well as the ICM 870. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.